The first Mario Kart game, released on the Nintendo 64, was pretty inventive for its time. Great gameplay, great graphics, great controls. But it's too bad I can't say the same for this piece of fuck, released for the Nintendo Wii. It is conveniently called Mario Kart Wii. Oh great, now they're starting to put the word, Wii, behind all the game names, just as they did with Nintendo 64 titles. This is just a sign of laziness. One franchise that never had this problem is Super Smash Bros. First was Super Smash Bros., then Super Smash Bros. Melee, and now Super Smash Bros. Brawl. All these names are unique. But when they just throw 64 Wii, at the end and keep the name the same, it sucks Yoshi's Cucumber. I must admit that I am a little baffled by the cover art. Mario is leaning over telling Luigi a dirty joke. And it must be a good one, because Luigi looks surprised as shit by the punchline. The big thing about this game is that it comes with a free Wii steering wheel. These are probably what comes to mind when you think about a steering wheel for a gaming system. A controller you buy separately and is able to function on its own. But what they don't tell you with the Wii is that it's just a piece of fucking plastic with a slot where you put the Wii mode in. This is fucking shit. Plain and simple. And guess what? This thing doesn't fit as is. You've got to take off the goddamn condom grip in order to fit the Wii remote into place. What's next? A condom grip for the steering wheel. It would be like if I bought a Super NES steering wheel, but all you did was attach the regular controller to it. What a fucking joke. On the back, it says get behind the wheel. Apparently the box designers were unaware that you can drive motorcycles in this game too. Because no motorcycles have ever seen have steering wheels on them. Dumb bastards. Onto the game. A problem I noticed right off the bat is that you can only have four me accounts. This is fine if only a couple people are going to play, but if you have a big family, you're fucked. So basically you drive around as Nintendo characters, and as you win races, you unlock new players and tracks. This single player shit gets old fast, so let's get online to pound some fucking noobs. You have three options for online play. Worldwide, regional, or friends only. It doesn't matter to me. I'll pound noobs no matter where they're living. I am not prejudiced. So let's choose worldwide. Okay. Something that flips my stinky shit logs are the Nintendo servers. There are times where you get connected to a race 30 seconds after it starts. Then you have to sit there and watch noobs race for 4 minutes. This is as boring as fuck. Why couldn't I get connected to a server that is in between races? Then of course, when you're finally ready to start, all of a sudden you get dropped from the server. Fuck. I just wasted 5 minutes of my time. Luckily, the Mario Kart servers are pretty good, unlike super shitty Smash Bros. Brawl, where you can hardly get connected most of the time. And what's the worst, is that you lose points when your connection gets dropped in the middle of the game. Why should I get penalized just because Nintendo servers suck my fucking balls? That's uncalled for. When you play online, you have to vote for what track you would like to race at. Then all the choices are put on screen, and a track is chosen at random. But the problem is, that there's always some fucking noob, who takes an hour to pick a track. And all you can do is sit there and wait. These assholes should be banned for wasting my time. God damn it. Hurry up. You fucking cocksucker. I had to wait 5 minutes for the race to end, now I have to wait for you to fucking vote. Fucking finally. I spend more time waiting, than I do racing. When you start the game, you will see one obvious problem. There are too many fucking people playing at once. When a race is full, you are constantly getting hit with shit. And when I say shit, I literally mean shit. Because there is a weapon, where a ghost goes diary all over your screen, obstructing your view. Look at this. I get hit with 4 things in a 5 second period. How do they expect me to actually race, when I just keep getting hit with shit over and over again? But was game. Half the time you can't get any item boxes, because there are so many people playing at once. A complete wall of boxes, gone. Then I think I am finally going to get an item box, but then a bunch of assholes come up from behind stealing my shit. Online play is all about point accumulation. As you can clearly see, people with scores in the 8000 range, just sit around all day jerking off to Mario Kart. Fucking losers. Then there are races, where you don't even care about winning. You just want to get a better spot than some fucker you can't stand. Like this asshole named Sam. <laughs> First the motherfucker hits me with a turtle shell, then a few seconds later, he hits me again while he has the star. Now the shit is on. 
I just need to catch that ass pirate. Give me something good. Alright, power boosts. With these, you just hit the B button like a madman and you get infinite power boosts. There's that son of a bitch. Come on. I got a rain cloud with your fucking name on it. But the thing that sucks about the rain cloud is that if you don't pass it off to an opponent fast enough, you get hit by it. Take that you tiny cunt. Now just when I think I've seen that last of the prick, I get hit by lightning. And he catches back up. Hitting me with a star. Now I am getting fucking pissed, but I'll just play it cool for the time being. I see Sam I am, now if I can just catch the fucker. Speak boosts again. Fuck yeah. Eat my dust, douchebag. Then he hits me with a fucking turtle shell again. God damn it. I got triple shells. Time to make you my bitch. Fuck. Now I got shrank. I just have to hold on for a few more seconds until I get to the finish line. I got 5th place, but who gives a fuck, as long as I beat the dick face. Anyways, there are a shitload of different places you can race at. One track has cows you can crash into. But nothing fucking happens. When you hit them, in cruise in the world, they fucking explode, and turn into roadkill. My personal favorite track is the Mushroom Gorge. Bouncing on these trampoline mushrooms is the fucking shit. But then some asshole has to spoil it. By putting deep card boxes right at the jump areas. There are also a lot of fucking bimbas that get in your way. Shit. I wish I could get out of this car and squash those bitches. Another thing that is a little strange, is this sign up to the, the right. It says mushroom, but the M and U are a different color. So it looks like it says shroom. What the fuck. I thought this game was for kids. A tip I can give you, is to not use the power boosts, while you are driving on the mushrooms, because it makes it difficult to steer in the right direction. I think I speak for everyone by saying that, whenever someone picks the rainbow road track, I just want to reach through the screen and beat the fuck out of them. I can't stand this damn place. The roads are slipperier than shit. And there are no guardrails around the corners. So all you do the whole race is fall off. Shit! Speak boosts are of no use either. On a track as difficult as this, all I need is to go faster. I want to shove a rainbow up the person's ass, who designed this fucking track. The ramps are also very poorly designed. Just check this out. Fuck. I was so far behind. I didn't even get to finish this goddamn race. The controls are no help either. Having the steering wheel fucking sucks. It is just as well if you use the Wii mode by itself. And when I am playing a game, I want to relax. Not be gripping the wheel until my knuckles turn white, and doing all this work. That is why I use the nunchuck to steer. When I use that, the only thing I have to move is my thumb. Unfortunately, that still takes some effort, but not nearly as much. And when you are going through the menus, you still have to use the Wii remote. So you have to turn the steering wheel to the side and point, which is pretty inconvenient. The controls are fucking horrible. Oh shit, I couldn't even avoid that. And the people you play online are as rude as hell. It isn't enough to get hit with a turtle shell, he then has to knock you off the side, causing you to fall to your death. I have never played with so many fucked up people at once, as in this match. Big brow. Fatty. And grandma puts. Hey look, it's Kurt Cobain. I thought he died years ago. How is he playing this game now? Holy shit. I finally spotted a real ghost. Anyways, the two weapons that sit the hardest, are the banana peels, and the decoy boxes. I just get rid of the shit as fast as possible. I don't want to see you or the decoy boxes ever again. Do you got that? With the shit now I get a decoy box. Fuck. This part is as glitchy as fuck. I go up the ramp to do a wheelie, but then my bike spins around backwards, and fucks me all up. I am in first place here, but then I hit that same spot again, fucking me up, and causing me to come in second place. So this clearly is not an isolated incident. But I can tell you one thing, that will be isolated. 
this shitty game from my fucking Nintendo Wii.